This is Dora Pinter with Service Star Realty, and today I'm trying to handle a very large subject. Uh, what laws and the uh, rules you have to follow when you are renting out your property? There are so many, uh, but I'm just going to point out a few interesting ones and at the end of the video tell you where you find all this information and how to catch up fast on that. Um, fair housing. Fair Credit Reporting and the Landlord-Tenant Act are the most important laws that you need to be aware of. Fair housing, obviously, um, you need to treat everybody equally. And I'm not going to go list the seven classes, uh, protected classes of the Fair Housing Act. Instead, I'm going to tell you that almost everybody who walks in through our door and becoming our tenant, almost everybody falls into one of those categories. So my advice to you is just to be careful and treat every single person equally. And, and one other thing is not just during the application process, when it's obvious you're, you're, you have written criteria, you have checkpoints, uh, and you're making sure that everybody is going through the same criteria, but later on, during the entire rental process, rental uh, agreement, tenancy, you wanna make sure that you treat your tenants equally. For example, maintenance, you wanna make sure that you don't favor one tenant and get there a couple of days faster than another tenant in the middle of the summer with an AC repair. So those are important things to watch out for. Uh, fair credit reporting. Uh, they came up with the act in 1970 uh, in order to protect um, the public, uh, pr protect the accuracy and the privacy of files and that's exactly what you need to do when you're screening applicants. You need to make sure that you don't share their credit report with anybody. You cannot even provide a copy to the person that you pulled the credit report on. A lot of people don't know that. And if you need to share their application with somebody, make sure you scratch out all their important details like social security number and date of birth as well. Um, the biggest bite is the Landlord Tenant Act and there's just so much information in there. I'm gonna point out um, Four, four things that um, come up pretty often in our business. One is access. Uh, you need to have permission uh, to go over to the tenant's uh, residence because uh, they reside there and you cannot bother them too frequently and without a good cause. You wanna notify them in writing when you're coming over and still even verbally gain their permission. Um, you do have the right to go over, so they cannot refuse it, especially when they place a maintenance request. Uh, their, their request in writing for you to perform maintenance uh, is already your permission to enter, so you don't have to watch it then. Second thing is security deposits. You have 14 business days to process them, and that's business days, not regular days. And a lot of tenants are confused on that, so um, it's okay to correct them. If you do not uh, process it on time and you do not notify them whether they're getting it back or if they don't get it back, you still have to notify them. If it goes past the 14 business days, they can actually uh, file suit against you for three times the security deposit amount. So you have to be careful. Couple of other things, notice to vacate. Uh, when the lease terminates, it doesn't automatically mean that the tenant will move out. If you want them to move out, you need to serve them a 30-day notice. And month-to-month -month agreements, you still have to do the same. Finally, partial payments. Um, if the tenant is late and you started an eviction process and now they come to you before the court date that they have some of the money, a partial amount, not the full amount, you need to be aware that if you do accept payments from them, you need to start the court process all over again. So it's up to you and probably uh, the amount that they're offering to pay if you're going to take a partial payment. Uh, if it's just a couple of hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, it's not worth it because the, the 26 day process starts all over again. So that only will buy them more time. But if they offer almost the full amount, you may just want to accept that and collect uh, the remainder at the beginning of the next month. So all in all, there's a lot to learn if you uh, set out to do this um, business. Um, I would start with taking a fair housing class. There's a lot of good classes out there. Um, uh, our attorneys offer a very good class, Hall Holiday. Please look it up. 
or the Arizona School of Real Estate and Business. So that's a must. And then I would just sit down and read the entire Landlord Tenant Act. It's only 60 pages full of great information. And, um, and uh, I would actually uh, concentrate on the remedies section because that has a lot of detail on the tenant's rights and that's what you need to be careful to follow. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're always here to help. Thank you.